Coming up next, we have James and Melfi from NFC Couples Goa. Let's listen to their mission story. Hello, brothers and sisters. Mission, I always thought, was a tough decision. Especially if you are moving out of the state, away from our comfort zones. However, when we prayed about it and surrendered everything to God, He made things happen. We fulfilled our desire. And after many years, we took a decision to go on a mission. And our first experience was to Manipur, followed by Nasik in Maharashtra, and thereafter a couple of times in Batinda in Punjab. When I heard the testimonies of my brothers and sisters in the MFC community, of their wonderful experiences of going on mission, I had a strong desire to go on mission myself. And then God gave me an opportunity to go to Manipur. I willingly said yes. It was rather difficult, but yet we managed it because we were in the process of shifting into a new residence. And it was not just me, my husband and my son joined me as well. So it became a family mission. An unexpected riot took place in Manipur the day we were to visit houses to invite the people for the CLS. Now riots in Manipur are very dangerous and deadly. It lasts for more than three days. So that whole evening we spent in prayer and intercession. And the MFC community in Goa was praying for the situation in Manipur. And guess what? Next morning, everything was peace and calm. A big miracle took place. So our CLS session began as scheduled. The first day, we did have a 60% response, but on the second and third day, it picked up. And then we completed the CLS with makeover sessions and it was very fruitful. So the CLS brought about a big change in most of the couples because their infidelity is very common. So this CLS changed their lives completely. In fact, there was a man who did a, his confession after many, many years, and it was a metanoia in his life. On the other side, back home, we were taken up with a big surprise because, as I told you before, we were in the process of shifting our residence. So when we left, the carpentry work and the painting work was still going on. But once we completed the mission, God really rewarded us. He brought us straight from Manipur into the new home. So that was a big reward for us because he sent his angels and they had taken care of everything, the supervision as well as the transportation and shifting of everything. Yes, he did send angels, but the experience on this mission certainly was a heavenly experience indeed. The CLS programs and seeing the people having a huge change in their life, a metanoia in their lives. So many couples who had strained relationships and disturbed families. The children could not get along with the parents and vice versa. However, by the end of the CLS, their lives had a huge impact and there was a transformation in their lives. They had a new look. Their faith and belief in God had multiplied and they resolved to turn their life around, thus bringing in a lot of satisfaction and we in turn accomplishing the mission we had gone for. The Lord was with us all throughout this, especially to ensure that I get leave in spite of my heavy schedules at my workplace. So brothers and sisters, if we have the desire within our hearts 
to go on mission, God will make it happen. And thus we become a part of his huge and a victorious mission. Well, mission does not really mean only outside your state. I had an opportunity of serving in the CLS outside my parish, a little distant area. A Hindi speaking group, which were all immigrants from Jharkhand. I served for almost three to four months and there again experienced drifted relationships between parents and children, husbands and wives. And this CLS built their relationship with God and with family. So we as a family enjoy going on mission and do God's work. Thank you. God bless you.